Chris Calcutt, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello, hello. Or Calc, as he's known. <laughs> yeah. Um, just want to say again, thanks to everybody at DBS, all the team, Ollie on the sound, all the tech guys, David, and the people on the bar, everything for uh, making this possible, and all of you lot for coming in person, and thanks for watching uh, the live stream, which I'm hoping is all hanging together. It's quite a feat for us to pull it all off in, I think we're doing three, four hours of live streaming, which is kind of quite a considerable lot, so I hope it's working out for you guys. Well. Yeah. As is traditional with all the acts, we're just going to have a quick look at your setup. Yep, and it, to be fair, this is probably the most fulsome. I th yeah, that's a, that's a good nick that word, isn't it? Yeah, fulsome. I I'd get yeah, that in there. <laughs> well done. Um, yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, you asked me to come and play, and I thought, well, it's Sonic State. I can't just come out with a, you know, maybe just a circuit on its own, you know. I thought I'd have to bring out some of the big guns. So, so um, yeah. I can't help but notice we've got the uh, Mr. Arp here. Yeah. That's yeah. a very nice looking specimen it's yeah it's nice i mean it's it's been with me for a long time but this is the very first time this has ever made it up onto a stage I, so okay so okay <laughs> nobody nobody put drinks anywhere near it everybody and yeah. we'll get the cover on as soon as you're that's done that's it yeah no we've had some nice synths today but this yeah this is my little my little beauty as well so uh, yes yeah, so i'm going to try and make use of that so um i mean the more eagle-eyed amongst you might notice there's quite a lot of novation gear here. <laughs> and that's because uh, um, Chris is in the enviable position of actually probably gets a good deal on novation stuff because he works in novation. Generally, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's quite a few things here. I should, uh, I should always, you well, know, take, got the take the loan back at the end. Indeed, yeah. We've in fact, this is, this is one of the prototypes for the Peak. Oh, uh, so, excellent. yeah. I've had to put a little sticker over there. It wasn't originally called it Peak. Wasn't, but I was it wasn't, was it? I can't remember what it was now, but I do uh, remember it was yeah, called Yeah, it had a different name at one point. But, yeah, so, the, yeah, that's one of the Prototypes. I've got the SL as well. This is this is the first time I've used this as well, and this uh, I, this has actually really been quite a big deal for me because I've really enjoyed working with the circuit workflow for playing live and that sort of thing. Um, but of course, that's really only two kind of poly sequences and a bit of drum stuff on there as well. Whereas this has got all eight eight uh, polyphonic sequences on it. So this is really the brains. This is the hub of everything. Um, I've got two MIDI outputs coming out here, and, and the first one is going into, into this splitter, and then that's getting split several ways, as you can see as well. I've actually got the circuit as well, um, and that's actually feeding into a MIDI merge. Oh, my Lord. Exactly, MIDI yeah. <laughs> so this is going into the, the peak, and then that's being passed down the chain to this wonderful little Preen FM device here. Oh, you brought that when you demonstrated the uh, SL for yeah. a year, yeah. Yeah, this is, this is great. I mean, this is a, it was a little DIY project. It's very inexpensive. Um, it did sound nice, particularly yeah. with some effects on it, I think. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it's basically sort of four, six operator FM synths inside yeah. there, four different um, sort of multi-timbral with it, and it, that's a really nice thing. That's, that was actually a DIY project as well, so super cheap if, you, if you're into a bit of soldering. And uh, mm. then we've got a little bit of modular action here. Well, some th that's, that's the sum total of my modular setup. Ah. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm not really the modular kind of guy, really, but I do love the Morphogene, and I really wanted one of those. So, um, yeah, I had a chat with Yanis at Dreadbox, and he sort of sent me one of these little cardboard boxes with a power supply. So I figured, well, that, that's my excuse, I guess, to get the Morphogene, yeah. but I'm <laughs> not going down that rabbit hole. My wife's somewhere in the audience. She'll He's like, not going yeah, down that rabbit I'm hole. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. It's no. it's made, he said it publicly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, um, yeah, there's a bit of processing going on here. I've got the two Strymons here, which are on effects duties for me. Um, the Otto Boom as well, that's a really nice box. That's basically a really, um, sort of really nice, it calls it an analog warming unit, but it's, it's kind of distortion, really nice compressor. Yeah, I think we heard it, it did sound nice, actually. Yeah, wasn't it? it is, it's got a lot going for it. And then, yeah, I've got to mention this thing. This is, this is one of my favorite things ever, the Let Loop. Um, again, this is a, a guy over in Milan, Tony, who makes the Let Loop, and it's just a weird little box. Um, it's, it's basically a groove box, it's got a kick drum circuit, it's got a noise circuit, so I kind of use that for hi-hats throughout and, and a bit of snare sound as well. But it's got two of the most crazy kind of oscillators. And, and I should point out, actually, as well, I was doing a bit of rehearsing yesterday at home, and my wife, Pascal, was having a listen. And she came and she said, that was great, but just at one point, it was going a little bit out of tune. And I knew that exactly what it was. It's this. It's, it so basically, this, is, this is your random box. This, this is, is kind run. of the random box, but it, it, I am tracking it from MIDI from here, but the MIDI scaling isn't quite right. So in the lower registers, if you hear a few kind of, ooh, that's a bit sharp, uh, right. <laughs> that'll be what that is. Um, and yeah, and that's pretty much it. Of course, got the beloved Octatrack as well. I'm a big fan of this thing. 
Um, that is just being very, that's basically kind of like Ableton clips, I suppose. Yeah. Just yeah, yeah, firing yeah. off a few loops, a few rhythms here and there, and that sort of thing. I'm not really going heavy duty on that. Um, but yeah, and that's pretty much it. And then, of course, the, the trusty old Mackie here as well. Um, I used to have quite a small desk, but I thought, I'll just expand it, because you never know, I might start to use it yeah, all. Yeah, it's not quite big enough for a swivelly chair yet. But, yeah, <laughs> no, not quite. Do. But, I mean, I'm using all the inputs and all of the auxiliary inputs on there as right. well. So, it's actually, it was, it was quite a good buy in the end, that thing. Right, so, well, yeah. Chris, I'm going to leave you to it. I'm going to step okay. away from the stage. Well, so, you, uh, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Kalka. Thank you.